Welcome to my Island Boutique Ambassador box opening video. This is the first one for 2022. If you follow me, you'd realize that there's another one that'll be coming later, uh, usually in July. Before we begin showing you what is in all these boxes, um, I wanted to take a moment to reflect. Um, this is my, I think it's my sixth year as a Island Boutique Ambassador. And I have to, I wanted to share why I continue to be one. Um, obviously, one of the perks is all the stuff that we get. But um, really, what makes this a great experience are my fellow ambassadors. Um, they are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter, um, the top quilt artists and what they do with each monthly challenge with their, their particular collection of batiks um, is really inspiring. Also, whenever I need a question answered or um, I just need some support because maybe my challenge quilt is not going very well or whatever, if I pop into our Facebook group and ask a question or just say, well, they are the first ones to respond and um, lift me up. So you can't ask for anything more than that than uh, from a group of fellow quilters, and I just love them for it. Um, also, talking about people, are the people at Island Batik. Um, I have met them at market. They are wonderful people. They care a lot about what they do. They try very hard to uh, produce the best collections for you of the highest quality batiks. Um, I work at a quilt store too, and we get a lot of batiks in the store from various manufacturers. I'm not gonna name names, but, um, and yeah, maybe I am a little prejudiced this way, but frankly, nobody comes even close to Island Batik. Um, not just the quality, but the feel of the fabric is lovely. Uh, we got some batiks in recently that felt like cardboard. I know after you wash them, they won't feel like that, but come on. Um, and then sometimes the, the colors aren't as deep or saturated and or the designs aren't, you know, much or the col there's no real collections. It's just pretty batiks. Um, Island Batik creates collections just like all the other fabric companies. Um, and you can fall in love with that collection and you can make beautiful quilts using them. Um, here are some examples from last year. Uh, this is a collection of fabrics that I really love. Um, a very bright and purpley, that's my color. This is uh, another collection. I think it's called Mariners. Um, golds and Blues. Um, this was a collection of happy uh, pumpkins and, and all the really cool graphic designs. I mean, you know, n this is rare to find this kind of uh, modern graphic look from a batik. Um, over here, uh, these were scraps. Uh, this are scraps, but this was a collection. So you can see how they work to coordinate the colors and make your quilt, your resulting quilt, look lovely. So kudos to Island Boutique for producing a, always producing a quality product. And then I guess uh, finally, well, uh, the reason for this video, uh, another thing I like about the Island Batik Ambassador Program are the challenges, the monthly challenges, and in order to meet those challenges, we get a shipment of uh, supplies. And so that's what I'm here to do, is to show you what I got. Um, we'll start with the first box that arrived. This box is filled with battings from Hobbs. Hobbs is also a, an Island Batik Ambassador Program sponsor. Um, and they ge very generously supply a lot of bats for us to make our quilts with during the year. Um, this is uh, Hobbs 8020. It's truly my favorite batting. It is a combination of 80% cotton and 20% polyester. The polyester gives it just a slight loft and a slight give. It also makes it a little bit lighter. Um, it is beautiful to quilt with, and a lot of long armors prefer 8020. Um, I rec highly recommend it. Let's see. They also sent, uh, and that was queen size by the way. This is also queen size bat. Um, this is their 100% cotton bat. 
Um, I love it. And um, if they didn't have the 80-20, this would be like my second favorite. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, it is my second favorite. It would be my favorite if they didn't have the 80-20. Um, it's just, you know, I like, I'm making a quilt top with all natural materials. So using all natural materials as the batting is, is something I really enjoy. Um, and this does not shrink terribly much, even though it's 100% cotton. Um, it shrinks just enough to give your quilt a nice, a nice gently washed look like this or this. Um, nothing that's really too crinkly. Um, they sent uh, some fusible batting strips. Uh, these are great for, you know, if you're making a bag for the handle of the bag. Um, if you want to make a, um, a jelly roll rug or a jelly roll placemat or whatever, this is two and a half inch strips. So uh, it's really easy to match those up with your uh, pre-cut two and a half inch strips and, um, and make up a, a product. See, they this time they sent their wool bat. Uh, if you have never used wool in a quilt before, you really, really should. It is more expensive because wool is more expensive, but it is lovely. The drape is perfection. It is so light. It is not a heavy quilt, um, but it is warm. Uh, but it's also cool when it needs to be. So it's just, it's very breathable. Um, it is really, really a terrific batting. And I am going to save this for a special quilt because I know I'm going to enjoy it. Let's see. They included one more bat. And that was also queen size. Um, and this is queen size. This is something new to me. Well, so we'll see how I like it. It's called a poly down. Uh, it is 100% polyester, but it's made in a way that isn't super fluffy. Um, so I'm not going to get that really old-fashioned uh, tied quilt kind of puffiness. But I am going to get a little bit more loft, so the quilting will show a little bit more. So I'm excited to see what happens when I use that. Thank you, Hobbs, for being a program partner. Mm -hmm. I truly enjoy your battings. So let's begin. First thing I'd like to show you is something new. This is a collection of fat quarters called Playful Purple. Um, Island Batik has taken its basics and its blenders. Um, basics are uh, batiks that are just all one color. Blenders are batiks that are overprinted with a slight design on them. But they're all kind of more or less your basics, your solids. -y. Um, They've taken the best of those, put them together in a collection of colors. I got purple because purple's my favorite color, so I'm so excited. So this is a collection of 20 fat quarters. Um, fat quarters in various colors and also gradations. So our first challenge for January is to make something that shows kind of that gradation. And by that I mean darks, mediums, and lights. So I'm, I'm already cooking some ideas, and I can't wait to put them together. Ooh, I know my, my daughter's filming me, and she's like, ooh. <laughs> um, but I'm cooking some ideas in my head uh, for how to best use gradations. Let me show it on the side so maybe you can see them a little bit better. But it, as you can see, there's definite darks, definite mediums, and definite lights in this. So you can really play with something uh, quite wonderful and modern with, this, with a collection like this. Let's see what else. Um, okay, let me show you. Ah, um, they always send us uh, a pre-cut. In this case, it's the two and a half inch strips, and it is from a fall collection called Chantilly. Uh, Chantilly is arriving uh, now, January uh, through February in stores. Uh, so they sent me this uh, two and a half inch strip set and then some coordinates. Um, and I've got a purple and a blue, a uh, turquoise kind of blue uh, coordinate to go with it that I can use when I design something with this collection. And they also sent a Batiks Foundation Bundle. And um, let me save this for a second because I have a feeling this goes with something that's still in the box. So let me get that out. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
it started to slip a little bit, so I needed to fix it. Okay, are you ready for your debut? Uh, this is also a fall 2021 collection, and what that means is that's when it was released. Uh, the designs were showcased to stores. Quilt stores then ordered them, and they're arriving now in January and February. This one is called Vintage Lace, and it features uh, soft greens, soft yellows, soft purples in a lovely vintage lace kind of way. Um, they sent me a fat quarter of everything, no, a half, half yard, I think, of everything, yes, a half yard of everything in the collection, plus these two coordinates, um, kind of a soft yellow and a, a soft purple, as you can see. And uh, I really look forward to seeing, uh, to see what I come up with for that. Um, now, back to the Batiks bundle. I'm going to untie it so you can see these beauties full instead of folded up. Here they are. Now, this, these are from the basics, and so they include um, solids. They include like a dark navy, a purple, um, a blue purple, and a green. These are from the solids basic line. Um, then they also include blenders, which are, see how it's a, a solid color printed with something else on top. So they've got a brown, uh, a red purple, an olive green, and more of a true green. And then kind of a soft yellowy green. And then they also included two colors from their, uh, uh, from the basics line, which is, um, more or less solids. So this is a forest green, a red, purple, and um, a blue. And as you can see, they really go with the collection. There, there's a little bit of blue in here too, I didn't realize. Um, whoops, that's the back. Let me turn it around so you can see the fronts of the back quarters. Again, lovely collection of soft greens, blues, yellows, and purples. So definitely in my wheelhouse and I'm super excited to come up with something for that. Um, this collection will debut, the quilt that I designed for this collection will debut in our February blog hop, so be sure to watch for that. Um, let's see what else they got. They sent me um, several solids. I don't know if you know that Island Petite creates solids, but they do. Um, just shown you a few. Here's their solid neutrals. Uh, they sent me uh, gray, gray, white, and black. Um, four yards. So I have plenty to use in my creations. And as you can see, I do use them. I, I Two quilts back here have black in them, and this one down here has white as a background color. So um, to me, that creates such a, a modern, crisp look with the saturated batiks. They also sent a uh, blender, or no, excuse me, a neutral that I can use as a background color, and they sent uh, six yards of it. This is a neutral called Moo Milk, um, to describe it. It's kind of a beige, a uh, very light beige. Um, so wonderful, wonderful, creamy, light beige that's perfect as a background for your batiks. And they typically do. They sent um, these. Um, these are a collection of uh, five inch cut um, batiks. Uh, it's very scrappy. Um, they typically bundle them as a single color. This is a green one. And this one is kind of a blue purple collection. Um, these are called stash builders. Uh, you can find them at your local Island Batik store. Really wonderful way of building a scrappy collection of batiks. Um, and you can use them for things like that. The, my, purple, my diamonds quilt, the purple and green one I used using this. Or um, this one over here is also very scrappy. Or whatever, any, any uh, quilt that you would like. Uh, you just pick your favorite colors and uh, start building your collection. And let's see, I have one more thing in here. Um, I got a box of thread from Aurifil. 
Orophil is also a program partner. This is what they sent. Um, this is from the 2021, so last year's, um, collection of color builders. And if you've never joined the Orophil color builder program at your local quilt shop, you really should. Um, when you do, you get a new box of thread every month and the thread uh, has three different colors in it. Um, so let me tip them out. A light, a medium, and a dark. Now, uh, last year, the color builders were centered around um, endangered species. So the endangered species that, that uh, uh, inspired this particular color collection was the uh, Iberian lynx. Um, the other thing about last year's um, color builders was that it was for 40 weight thread. Um, you can always tell what kind of thread uh, orophil is by the color on the spool and green means uh, 40 weight. What they wanted to send each of us was um, the color builders from 2020 which were based on um, cities in Italy and um, it was 50 weight thread. So at some point uh, I will be getting a, a box um, that will have the correct Orophil thread box in it and I can obviously keep this and use it for something else but um, the challenge centered around Italy will be uh, in March. So I'll be I'll get a box and it will be inspired by some Italian city uh, and then I will need to create something based on that inspired by that city and by the color thread that I receive. So stay tuned for my uh, on my YouTube channel um, for that announcement when I get that box. So I'm getting a box that hopefully has the Orphil thread in it and also the pre-cut from the winter collection. Um, that's just, that was delayed a little bit. Finally, I received this. Every time we get a, a shipment, um, which comes in January and then in July, we get a what they call a surprise. And um, this surprise bundle is uh, like the other one that I showed you earlier in that it has a half yard of everything in the collection plus two coordinates. I can't show you what's in this, however, because this is from the winter 2021 collection, which will be arriving in stores in um, late April, May. Uh, so during May, the Island Boutique Ambassadors will have a blog hop where we will feature quilts that we make with our particular surprise collection. So you'll have to stay tuned for that to see it uh, revealed. I think you will agree with me, quite a lot of loveliness. Um, I'm so excited to continue as an Island Boutique Ambassador for 2022. And I hope that you will follow me on my YouTube channel as I uh, will be creating more videos for you and sharing them with you. Um, the ways to follow, you just click the follow button. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, you can follow me on Facebook. And so just not just like, but make sure you follow. And if you see this on Instagram, um, you can follow me there as well. So I hope to see you out there on social media. And uh, meanwhile, uh, I hope uh, 2022 brings you nothing but happiness and joy. Lots and lots of petites.
<laughs> I mean, I did before, but I have accomplished my more. goal. Even more.